Hi guys, today I am back to film my palette decluttering video. I have 29 palettes and that is way more than I thought I had. Um, I thought I only had like 16, 17, but I have 29. So I set myself kind of a small goal just for the time being. Um, just because my eyeshadow palettes are going to be the hardest thing for me to like get rid of, obviously. So I set myself a small goal. My goal is to be 25. So it's only four to get rid of, but starting off small. And it might change. I'm probably going to set myself an sm even smaller goal next video, like maybe 20 palettes instead. So we're just going to start with 25 and see how well I do. So first up are my naked palettes. And I can honestly say right now these are not going anywhere because they are just some of my favorite palettes. Um, I have my original Naked palette, which I'm currently panning, but I'm going to just repurchase this right away, so, um, I mean, I'm just going to count that as staying kind of thing. Um, otherwise, I have my Naked 2 and Naked 3 palettes. These are both, like, holy grail for me. I use these quite frequently. Um, they're just some of my go-to palettes, and they're, like, the legendary Naked palettes, so I'm not getting rid of them. <laughs> um, next, I have my Naked 2 Basics palette. This palette, I really didn't think I was going to like it that much, but it's one of my all-time favorites. I just love it for cool toned looks, um, for blending transition colors, that kind of thing. So this is going to stay as well. <clears throat> Sorry, you guys. I have a little bit of a cold, and it's just, like, killing me. Hmm. <coughs> Annoying. Um, next are my Vice palettes. So I have Vice 2, Vice 3, and the Vice Limited. I don't have the original Vice. I'm not buying the Vice 4. Um, I'm just really not impressed with the Vice 4. And then Vice 1, I've just never even got the opportunity to get that one. So, anyways, Vice 2. This is like my first, I think, Urban Decay palette purchase besides the Naked palettes. Um, and I'm in love with this one. I've kind of heard mixed reviews about it, but I love this one. It's just, it's one of my favorites, kind of. And I think a lot of that is, like, packaging-wise. Like, it's really, really pretty, so I'm always kind of drawn to it. But the jewel tone colors in here are really pretty. It has some nice neutrals in here. It's just one of my favorite, like, kind of fall palettes, surprisingly. It's usually when I reach for it the most. So, I'm going to keep this one. Next is my Vice 3 palette. And this is, holy grail, not going anywhere palette, because I... I don't know why. This one last year I think got really, like, really mixed reviews. Like, a lot of people were like, yeah, the shadows are good, but I just don't like it. Um, I feel the total opposite. I am in love with this palette. Um, I love all these matte blending colors. Um, I love the blues. I love the purples and golds. I love all the kind of pinks and reds. And then, you know, even some of the neutrals over here I just really, really love. Um, I never look at this palette and feel overwhelmed or uninspired. It, I always have something going on inside my head of what I can do with this palette. And I just have a million and one looks that I love to do with this thing. So this is not going anywhere. I've almost hit pan on some of the shadows in this one and the Vice 2. So they're very well loved and I'm not going to get rid of them because I love them. So <laughs> next we kind of get on to the more... I'm going to say complicated item. This is the Urban Decay Vice Limited palette. And if I remember correctly, I think this came out springtime, kind of. Springtime, summertime, somewhere in there. I remember looking at this palette on the front table for weeks and just kind of being like, eh, kind of hit or miss. Like, some of the shadows are really nice, some of them I'm not, you know, happy with, but whatever. Um, I ended up purchasing it one day, just... I'm really, I'm an impulse person, so I'm really bad about just like, hey, I'm going to buy this today. And not really giving it too much of a thought when it comes to makeup, especially. Really not clothes and other things. Other things I'm a little bit more thoughtful, but makeup I have impulse buy quite a bit. Anyways, this was kind of an impulse buy. Piece of me regrets it a little bit. I kind of wish I wouldn't have bought it. Um, I'm just not loving this palette. I don't love it as much as my other Vice palettes. This one I actually do look at and feel a little bit kind of uninspired. I don't really, I don't know. There are looks that I come up with when I look at this palette, but there's just nothing that I'm excited about. And I do kind of feel a little overwhelmed when I look at this palette. 
Plus the shadow formulations on these are very hit or miss. Um, Goddess, I don't know if anyone remembers this particular shadow, but it was an old Urban Decay shadow that was in their permanent line um, before they reformulated. And it's just a pretty blue color, but the glitter and stuff in it, and it's just such a gritty textured eyeshadow and the pigmentation just isn't really there. So that shadow should have, in my opinion, just stayed discontinued. But there are some really nice ones like this one up here called Chase, for example. It's beautiful. It's really, really pretty. Um, just so pigmented and just like metallic and just amazing. Like, I just love that shadow. Um, but like I said, it's kind of hit or miss. Some of the shadows are really good, some of them aren't. Some other ones I'm just really not excited about, for example, our back door. This matte brown was in the Urban Decay Smoked palette, which I'll be talking about in a minute. And it's a nice brown color, but on me it almost comes up as black because it's so dark. It's just, it almost comes up as black. Um, I'm not really a big fan of the perversion black in this shadow. This shadow, it's kind of just not, not a good texture or pigmentation isn't really there. Something about that one's just kind of off. Um junk show I wasn't in love with. Like, I'm just not really digging some of the colors in here and the formulations of some of them. So I might be getting rid of this, but I am going to hold on to it and just kind of give myself a little bit of time to play around with it. If I don't retour, I'll definitely get rid of it. Um, but if I can make myself kind of use it and I end up really liking it, I'll keep it. But otherwise, I think I'm just going to give it to my mom because I know she was kind of interested in that palette too and she didn't pick it up, but... I think she'd really like it if I gave her mine. So, next is my Naked Smoky palette. This is a newer purchase. Um, I'm still kind of playing around with this one too, but I don't think I'm gonna get rid of this one. I just really like this one. So, and now that's fall, I'll definitely be using it a little bit more. So that is gonna stay. <clears throat> too many palettes and too many places to put them. Okay, next is the Urban Decay Smoked palette. This is Holy Grail, my little baby right here. Like, I love this palette. I'm really sad that Urban doesn't have this anymore, or if they do, I think it's on clearance, but it's because they're not going to be making it anymore because of the Naked smoke, smoke, Smokey palette. But this one has some nice neutrals, um, some nice matte colors, some nice jewel tones, and it comes with a nice little instruction booklet. Like, this is just a Holy Grail palette for me. Um, I like the case, everything about this one. It's just... It's just one of my favorites. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that one. <clears throat> Next is my Lorac Pro 2. I'm going to try to show you mine, but I, hmm, mine's kind of broke. Um, my snow shadow is just completely crumpled. It has been pretty much since it, well, there it goes on my lap. It pretty much has been since the day I bought it, but I really like this palette, so I am going to keep it. The colors are pretty. I like the shadows. They're really blendable, so I am going to keep that one. <coughs> Sorry, it's cold. Um, next is my Rainforest After Dark palette. I don't reach for this, so this is probably definitely going to go. Um, it's a pretty palette, but I just don't reach for it. And it's just nothing that really wows me. Um, the face products are really nice. I like the bronzer, I like the highlighter, the blush. But the shadows are just kind of boring. <laughs> boring and nothing I really reach for so some of them I can tell like they have like a textured print when you buy them and I can still see kind of the textured print on top of the shadows because I've just barely used it. So this one I'm going to go ahead and get rid of um, just because I don't really reach for it. So there's one. Got to get rid of three more. <clears throat> Next is the Tarte Away We Go set. <sighs> this is really hard for me as well. Um, there's another quad and I have it under here somewhere but I took the quad out because I am doing one more get ready with me this with this set and then I am going to give it away but I don't know I just am not the colors are really pretty and I really like them but I don't really reach for this and I think it's just because it's a really big set. I don't know. Just something about this I don't reach for it. <clears throat> the glosses are nice. The blush is really nice. The shadows are okay just not wowed by it so after my last get ready with me which I'm hoping that'll be up like next week or the week after that so that way I can finally move on to some other get ready with me's and some tutorial stuff that I've been kind of wanting to do so um, I'm gonna be going ahead and getting rid of this so there's that 
Next is the, I don't remember what this one's called, but it's the Tarte 2013 Christmas set. And this is what that looks like. This one's a little bit harder for me to get rid of, but I am going to get rid of it. Again, I don't reach for it, don't use it. But there are a couple shadows in here that I really like and I'm having trouble parting with. One is Central Park and it's this dark hunter green. The other one is Midnight in Paris and it's this pretty kind of... It's a little bit more of a blue toned green compared to Central Park. But it's it's like a teal green color and it's, it's really pretty. Um, another one I like is Bordeaux, kind of a dark glittery purple. I like some of the matte grays in here like Rocky Mountains. Um, Big Ben. You know, I like some of the colors in here, but I just am not really reaching for it or using it enough. It's just not getting enough love. And it's a pretty big set, so this is like taking up a lot of room. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. But it's the same concept as the last one. It has like a little thing that you can kind of take the quads out and put them in this little palette, kind of as an on-the-go thing. So it does have that. It did come with like three like full-size lip glosses too, but I end up getting rid of most of the glosses. I do have one left, but it's almost completely used up. It's called New York Minute. I've talked about it a couple times in my panning videos. So I am going to be getting rid of this, and I'm just going to finish up the New York Minute gloss because it's really, really used, so I don't think anybody is going to want it. So there, I managed to get rid of three. Just got to get rid of one more. Next is my Wet n Wild Petal Pusher Palette. I'm not going to get rid of this, but I'll take a quick minute to talk about it. Um, this is a little palette that kind of surprised me because I didn't think I was going to like it that much, but I've hit pan on a couple of the shadows and really close to hitting pan on a lot of them though, to be honest. Like, I just get a lot of use out of this palette. It's Whenever I want to do a purple eyeshadow look, I really reach for this because it's got so many great purple shades um, and just all around kind of a great palette. So I do love this one and I'm going to go ahead and keep this. Next is my Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. This one I don't use as much as the Petal Pusher one. This one's definitely newer to my collection, but at the same time, I'm really glad I have this palette. The neutrals are something that I will use, you know, all the time, but the green shadows aren't something I use a lot, and I'm kind of glad that I have a nice, cheap palette that has green eyeshadows in it that I like. Um, because I wouldn't want to pay $30 for this eyeshadow and never, and not really use it a lot, I should say. So, I'm glad that I have a cheap eyeshadow palette with some colors that I like, but I just don't use a lot of. So, that is that palette. I'm going to keep this one just because, like I said, I am just like how affordable it is and the eyeshadows are really good quality. So, I'm going to keep that. Next is my Wet n Wild Trio, and this is in Silent Treatment. This isn't going to go anywhere either just because it is one of my favorites. Um, it's just got like a nice pink champagne color, a black kind of glittery, kind of gold glitter crease color, and then a really pretty kind of silvery taupe eyelid color. Um, I've worn this just kind of as it is, and I love it. It's just one of my favorite kind of eyeshadow combinations, I guess, or eyeshadow trios. It also reminds me a lot of my Too Faced... Um, boudoir eyes palette so if you're kind of looking for something cheaper or sort of similar I know this is only three shadows but you kind of get like some really similar looks from it so there's that and next is my Too Faced boudoir eyes palette so here's what that looks like um but as you can see kind of what I mean like this shadow here is kind of that pink color um these two are both kind of silvery taupe colors and then you have French Tickler, which is actually a black with gold glitter, a lot like the Silent Treatment Trio. So this is one of my favorites, though, too, just because if I'm ever, if I'm ever kind of like, I don't really know what I want to do, I just want to look really nice, this is kind of my go-to palette for that. I can guarantee that I'm going to like whatever look I do with this, just because I've never had a look that I don't like with this palette. So it is one of my favorites. Um, it was actually for a while really hard to get my hands on. So when I saw that we had like two or three in stock, I grabbed one immediately and purchased it because it's just such a nice palette. Um, this one I almost feel like, maybe it's a little too smoky for wedding stuff, but it kind of would be a nice like wedding palette in a way. You might just have to go a little lighter with it though. So that is the Boudoir Eyes one. Next is the Too Faced Country palette. Um, I think this was one of my first Too Faced palette 
purchases. And I have to say, I still, still really like this palette. It's just a very fun palette in my opinion. Um, of course it's got the whole row of neutrals right here, but then this one here you kind of have some more fun colors. There is Paper Roses, which is a brighter pink with a gold shimmer like shift to it, and then it has a purple. Um, and then this row down here is kind of cooler toned with some like blues, and this one here is kind of a blue-gray color. On camera it's really picking up blue, but in person it's a little bit, it's a little bit gray. So. And there's like a nice frosty white color here too. So I really like this palette a lot for just kind of fun playing around kind of things. Um, in the summertime when I'm just looking for something that's colorful but not overly dramatic, this is kind of what I'll reach for because I like it. <clears throat> Next is the Too Faced Natural Mattes palette. I don't know where I moved that one. Oh, it's right here. <clears throat> there's too many palettes around right now. This one I've been kind of falling out of love with lately. Um, I have been using it a little bit this last week, and I like it, but I've just, I don't know, for some reason I'm not loving it as much as I was the last time I got it and I was using it. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it and keep playing with it, but I mean, if I keep kind of just not loving it as much, I'm probably going to get rid of it. Um, I think a lot of it is, the shadows are perfectly fine, they blend really nice. But just something about the colors I just am not, I'm not loving, I'm not crazy about. So I'm going to keep this and keep using it, see what I think. Um, next is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. Um, this is that palette that I'm like, I really could have lived without purchasing this. Every time I use this palette, I really like it, but it's just not, it's not crazy impressive, I guess. So... I'm going to keep this because I do really like it, but it's just not a palette that, you know, is holy grail or wow for me. Like, I could justify getting rid of this if I had, you know, if I wanted to purchase a new palette, I could justify getting rid of this is kind of what I'm trying to say. It's a nice palette and I really like it, but just not amazing. So, there's that. Next is my Sigma. This is the Light or Warm Neutrals palette. I didn't think Sigma still sold these, but they do, and I am telling you, this, if I were to make an eyeshadow palette, this would be it. Um, plus or minus a couple shades, but this is what I would do. The only shadows I'm not a huge fan of are this color here, I think called Oyster Sand. Um, I'm not a really big fan of this Optimistic. And Warm Stone, I just wish it was a matte brown. I don't want it to be like a warm, glittery brown. But otherwise, every other color in here I would 100% keep. Um, this is the Perfect Brow Bone Highlight, Matte Brow Bone, matte brow bone Highlight. Um, I kind of like these like warmer taupe colors. This really pretty gold glitter. You have not lived until you have used cinnamon because it is, oh, so pretty. Um, Russet is gorgeous. Balanced is one of my favorites. Same thing kind of with this one called Cozy. It's another just really beautiful crease color. They're just such pretty velvety warm brown colors. I am obsessed and they are just so pigmented like uh, let's do let's do my pointer finger here. I just have like a little bit of shadow. There we go. It's clean. Just kind of watch me. Just one swipe across that red eyeshadow and you can see how pigmented it is. And they are very creamy. Just a very nice formula. Um, I wish Sigma would do more eyeshadow palettes. They do have a couple on their website, but I just love these ones so much. Like, they are just my favorite. This is the one eyeshadow palette that a YouTuber made me buy. And that girl JXO kind of convinced me to get this, and I do not regret it one bit. Like, I am deeply in love with this palette. So, that is not going anywhere, obviously, because I'm in love with it. <laughs> um, next is my Anastasia Catwalk palette. It's around here in this mess of palettes, um, but I've talked about it. I just found it. I've talked about this before. I'm kind of panning this. This is probably going to be my pan that palette for next year. It's a nice palette. The shadows are nice quality. They're very creamy, buttery, um, but I just, before I started panning this, I never really used this. I never really felt super inspired by it. So this one I am getting rid of, but I'm just getting rid of it in a different, like I'm not just giving it away. I'm going to be panning it. 
So that is kind of my fourth get rid of palette, I guess. Next is my Anastasia Couture palette. <sighs> this palette is fabulousness. In a, this is another one that's just like very quickly became holy grail for me. Um, I just am obsessed with this one. I love everything about it. And I think I've talked about it in another video, how much I just... I love this palette. It's got nice neutrals. I love the pops of color. Um, just everything about it. So this one I'm not going to get rid of either. Um, it's just one of my favorites. So there's that one. It's the Shadow Couture or the World Traveler Shadow Couture. I don't know. I just call it the Shadow Couture palette. So <laughs> Next is my Jaclyn Hill Morphe Brushes palette. Do I need to say more? We're probably, I think you guys are probably know I'm not going to get rid of this. Like, it's, I don't know. It's a problem. Like, this palette is just one of the absolute best palettes I've ever purchased. And I'm really surprised by that because, you know, YouTube sponsorships, like, sometimes it really is a great product and other times you're just kind of like a little let down by it or you're just kind of not sure if you should trust the person but did that girl shake so I had talked about Morphe eyeshadows a long time ago um and then Jacqueline kind of started talking about them and everyone else kind of started talking about them and I think it'd been like a year since Shay had talked about them but I trusted her judgment then and I'm you know when more people kind of start talking about them, I'm like, all right, I already know Shay has talked about these eyeshadows. I've already been meaning to pick up some palettes from them and just never got around to it. So I'm going to pick up the Jaclyn Hill palette because I really liked the way the palette looked and everything. And I have to agree, they are really nice shadows. They are some of my favorite formula-wise. Um, I've definitely looked into buying more of their palettes, but my big complaint with Morphe is they're just really hard to get your hands on. Um... A lot of their shadows are sold out, or a lot of their palettes and stuff are sold out when you go to their website. I've kind of heard the same for their brushes. I haven't really looked too much into their brushes, but I just hear that they're sold out of a lot of stuff a lot of times. And I guess that's kind of understandable with how popular they are, but I don't know. I just wish it was a little easier to get what you wanted from their website. So, <clears throat> next is my Pure Minerals Soul Mattes palette. Mm, this one I'm going to keep. I've kind of debated back and forth on this one too. Sorry, I have hiccups. Um, but I, in the end, I do really like it. And this is kind of the palette that I always wanted but never knew I wanted. Because I think in a past video I said that I wish Urban would do a Naked Basics palette but for the Naked 3 palette. And this is that, this is that palette. Um, it's just got some really pretty kind of mauvey pink plummy colors or dark reds there's really pretty warm brown and this is just like a dark matte brown it's got some nice light highlight colors in here I just I really do like this palette but I just considered getting rid of it because I don't really reach for it very much um but I'm gonna try to get better about using this because I I don't show it enough love so <laughs> I'm gonna keep that one next is my MAC warm eyes little set um, I'm not going to open this just because it's part of Project Pan, but I am going to be getting rid of this. I am very, very close to being done with it. Thank the Lord, because I cannot stand this palette anymore. Um, and then it'll be back to MAC. So that is another one that is going to be leaving my collection. So I think we're at five now, if I count the Catwalk and then the Tarte palettes I'm getting rid of. Not doing too bad. And then three more, the NYX Avant Pop sh uh, Shadow Palettes. I have two of these. These are a little bit more of a recent purchase as well. I think I'm going to keep these, but I'm not going to give them a whole lot longer because I'm kind of having the same issue. I really like these palettes, but I'm not really reaching for them. Um, this one I could see myself using a little bit more during the summertime, but this one's got some purples and some neutrals, and I'm just finding I'm not really reaching for either one. So I am going to kind of keep them around for now and just see if I can't kind of make myself use these a little bit more. Next is the Pop Beauty. This is the trio I got in my birch box. It's called <clears throat> Bright Up Your Life Peach Parfait Eyeshadow Trio. I was going to get rid of this, but I think I'm going to keep it because these are kind of like, I don't know, they're really buttery shadows and like, they're kind of, I don't know, if, if I do it just right, they look like foiled shadows. Like, they're very... 
that light color is the one I swatched. But um, they just have like this really pretty sheen to them. They're really creamy. Like I said, I can kind of get a foiled effect from them. So I'm going to keep this around for a little while longer and just kind of see if I use it a little bit more, kind of how I feel about it. But I kind of wouldn't be surprised if the next year or two I do end up getting rid of this eventually. So, and then one more palette. It's not on my list. I'm going to talk about it really quick. It's the Pure Minerals Love Your Selfie palette. Um, kind of obsessed with this thing right now. I don't know if it'll stay that way. It has like a bunch of stuff in it and just keeps falling out. That's what it looks like though. It had came with a lip gloss. <laughs> came with a lip gloss and I ended up getting rid of it because I didn't like the color. comes with this mascara which I have yet to try. But as you can see it comes with eight eyeshadows, um, a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter. For the most part these are super pigmented. Like I can't even... It just blows my mind how pigmented they are. Um, they're very creamy, very nice. The formula is really good. So I am going to keep this. It is just kind of another neutral palette though. So if, I don't know, in a year or two I change my mind and I'm like, I just am not really reaching for it, I will probably get rid of this. But I don't know where the paper thing went. Oh, plastic thing. There we go. <clears throat> Otherwise, I think I'll get rid of it in like a year or two if I just am not using it very much. Otherwise, I'll keep it because I do like it, and I think it's kind of a nice travel palette. So, I just wanted to mention that one, even though it wasn't on my list, because it was kind of a new <clears throat> new purchase, I guess. So, alright. <coughs> Excuse me. It was cold. Um, but anyways, coughing aside, I'm going to go take a nap. It's cough medicine now. <laughs> but, um... I picked out four palettes, so we did come down to our goal of 25. I am really happy with that. I'm hoping, of course, to get rid of more as time goes on so I can make room for more new palettes and stuff, but right now I'm, I'm pretty happy with just getting rid of four. Like, I already feel a little bit better, especially because the Tarte ones are just these huge box sets, you know, so they take up a lot of room, and getting rid of them, it, it's already freed up a lot more room. So... I am pretty happy with that. I'll be even more happy though when I do another update and I get rid of more stuff. It's just, I'm okay with this. So, anyways, I do have at least three to four more videos in this decluttering series. Um, I'm not sure how many videos lip products is going to take to do. I'm really hoping it'll only take two. It might take three and then I do want to do kind of a final conclusion, kind of wrap up everything kind of video. So, there's that. Um, I am going to make a playlist for these decluttering videos. I've been meaning to and haven't gotten around to it. I've been meaning to do that for my Project Pan videos too and I haven't, so maybe I'll do that as well. Um, but yeah, that is everything and I hope you guys enjoyed this even though I'm sick and coughing and gross. I'm sorry. Um, I wanted to film a lot of videos this week. It didn't happen for a lot of reasons. One being sick, second being I've just been kind of in a weird, weird mood, been kind of depressed, kind of, I don't know. I don't want to say a midlife crisis, because that's really not what it is, but I'm just like, I'm 23 years old, and I want to buy a house, and like, what do I want to do with my life, and like, you know, just overwhelming amount of things kind of going on in my head. So, I apologize for the lack of videos, I am trying to get my ish together, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> I never have my ish together, so we'll just, we'll see how that goes. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I am planning on doing a lot more makeup videos too. A little less panning stuff, a little more actual makeup stuff. So please let me know your recommendations down below for what you'd like to see. I do have the pink tutorial, or get ready with me, I haven't really decided yet, um, that people requested a couple weeks ago. It is using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Brushes palette, so I will do that soon um, after I do this little last tart get ready with me but I think I'm gonna do this one more of a tutorial than a get ready with me because um, that's a little bit more informative but if you guys have any like makeup get ready with me tutorial requests please let me know below um, really any video requests at all just let me know below so anyways thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time